Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we are back in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. Had a little bit of weather here just a few moments ago and uh, really nothing to worry about when it rains in Las Vegas because when it does rain, it rains for like a minute and then the sun's back out. So all this storm really did was make all this hot air humid. That being said, I want to head inside and get some nice air conditioning, so we're going to check out the MGM Grand today. Some of you may not know that when the MGM Grand was originally built, it had a Wizard of Oz theme. The only remnants of that uh, Wizard of Oz theme left is the uh, building is still emerald green, and that would cost a fortune to uh, change, and of course Leo the Lion, which everyone loves out front. Anyway, let's head inside and check out this massive, and I mean massive, hotel and casino, shall we? As soon as you walk into the MGM Grand from the Las Vegas Strip, which is pretty much the main entrance that we walk through, on the left hand side you're going to find Level Up, where good times are never in short supply. One look at this modern day lounge and it's easy to see why it's Vegas' ultimate playground, uh, featuring everything from nightly entertainment to live sports on the big screen TVs and endless arcade games for the adults, there's no better place to drink, play, and win. Also near the entrance is the MGM Grand Sportsbook, the Centrifuge Bar, which is a circular bar, and Hakusan Nightclub, as well as Bananos Pizzeria. Bananos offers up some pretty good pizza. They offer it by the slice or by the pie, and they're in a couple of casinos here on the Las Vegas Strip. The MGM Grand is beyond grand. It's just monstrous, as you'll see as we walk through it. The place is huge. Now pay attention. You might have to repeat this part of the video over and over a couple times for you to understand what I'm about to say, but the MGM Grand is the largest single hotel in the United States with 6,852 rooms. It's the third largest hotel complex in the world by number of rooms and the second largest hotel resort complex in the United States behind the combined Venetian and Palazzo. Don't forget, those are two towers. When it opened in 1993, the MGM Grand was the largest hotel complex in the world. Did that make sense? I hope it did. We already passed Tap Sports Bar here, as well as the uh, MGM Grand Buffet. I have videos on both those places. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. This is Avenue Cafe, which serves up breakfast and lunch. There are tons of places to eat in this place, as well as lots of lounges in uh, places of interest. And I strongly suggest if you're checking in, or even if you uh, pass a security desk or anything, ask for a property map to get around, because it really will help you out. The restaurants are all spread out and the pool is like five miles from here. We'll eventually get there in this video, but everything is really far and spread out and a map is really going to help you out. And a shout out to Pac-Man who found Clarice the Miss America crown in one of my latest Atlantic City videos, the Serendipity 3 restaurant, where I had my infamous $70 hot dog, potato skins, and a cocktail. Congratulations, Pac-Man. Hello, this is Wolfgang Puck. Come here and eat my pizzas. The pizzas are known all around the world. I have fabulous stars eating in my pizzerias in Beverly Hills and here in Las Vegas. You must try my pizzas. Thank you. Here we have Latiel by Joel Arubichon. Latiel is French for extremely expensive.
The MGM Grand is home to Cirque du Soleil's Ka. I've heard that Ka is probably one of the best Cirque du Soleil shows here in town. I've been to several Cirque du Soleil shows. I enjoyed every single one of them. I have yet to see Ka, so I am uh, pretty much putting my money on it's going to be a fantastic show once I finally see it. The MGM Grand is also home to the David Copperfield Show. David Copperfield, probably uh, best known for being the world's greatest illusionist and for marrying the world's most beautiful women. This is the Whiskey Down Lounge right off the casino floor. Right now we're in the front desk or reception area of the MGM Grand where we have a gift shop here as well as the entrance to the underground which is a whole nother shopping restaurant comedy club area. That's also where you can pick up the Las Vegas monorail. We'll check it out shortly. So if you haven't figured it out yet, you're going to see a lot of people wearing masks here. That's because this video goes back to the fall of last year, actually, when I was staying here at the MGM Grand. Uh, by the way, the room tour and pool tour of the MGM Grand is available here on the New York channel. And this particular tour is one of those uh, videos that kind of like got lost in the shuffle. But I can uh, guarantee you not much has changed since this video has been made.
Hey, if you're digging this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And while you're at it, why not just subscribe to the New York channel? It'll be the best thing you did today. Go ahead, just do it. As you can see, there's so many restaurants here at the MGM Grand. I can't go into too many details, but let me list a, a couple of them. We have Tom Colicchio's Craft Steak, Crush, Morimoto's Las Vegas. There's a Top Golf here. There's a video on the New York channel about the Top Golf. You can eat at Top Golf as well. We have uh, Joel Rubichon, Grand Walk Noodle Bar, International Smoke, Nelly's Southern Kitchen, Ambria Italian Restaurant. We have Tap Sports Bar, Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, Hakkasan Restaurant. There's a Blitz Frozen Yogurt and Desserts. Let's see, Greek Sneak, Avenue Cafe, Emerald, New Orleans Fish House, uh, Pieology, which is another pizzeria here, Cabana Grill, uh, there's a food court, which has its own separate list of restaurants, Bananos New York Pizzeria, which I mentioned, lots of restaurants here. <laughs> And here we have a, another entrance to the Las Vegas monorail. This is the MGM Grand Garden Arena where the uh, Grammy Awards, this year's Grammy Awards were held. And uh, we're gonna walk through a hallway that's gonna show all the A-list acts that have played here in the past several years. That's coming up shortly here on the video. All right, we're going to head downstairs, check out the pool area. Uh, the pool and the room tour is available here on the New York channel. It's a separate video. We're also going to walk down that hallway where all of the uh, A-list acts in the past, I'm going to say 20 years, have appeared here at the MGM Grand.
And all the way down the end of that hallway of stars that we just looked at. By the way, there are a lot more stars than I uh, videotaped here. Just uh, if you're in the area and you're down here, all the way down here by the pool area of the MGM Grand, take a look at all those posters. They're pretty fascinating. But the pool area is huge. I'm just taking a peek through the windows here. If you want to see the entire pool area, they have several pools here. Uh, just check out the room and pool tour here on the New York channel. A new feature on the New York channel is the super thanks button, which is close to that thumbs up button that I know you've already clicked on. Clicking on that super thanks button not only shows your support for the New York channel, but really helps the channel grow. And doing so will let you leave a colorful comment pinned above all other comments here on this video. This is the entrance to the signature at uh, MGM Grand, and there are three very tall towers. Very nice place to stay if you can get rooms here. So, what'd you think of the MGM Grand Tour? Would you stay here? It's huge. Do you like a big hotel and casino that offers tons of options or do you prefer a more boutique-ish or a smaller hotel and casino, but you have uh, the option of coming to a place like this uh, during your vacation? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.